Today I'd like to talk to you about an exciting free new feature that's launching in Minecraft Dungeons. And that feature is Apocalypse Plus, which adds a new layer of difficulty to the game. Apocalypse Plus does not change the base game in any way, it adds on top of it. So if you still want to play the game at a gentler pace or a, with an easier challenge, then you can still do so. Apocalypse Plus just adds a new way of playing for players who want an extreme challenge. Apocalypse Plus introduces a whole 20 new threat levels to play the game at, with increasingly better gear and increasingly more powerful mobs. To balance a feature like Apocalypse Plus, the main thing that we have to do is spend a lot of time playing the game. We have to uh, give ourselves powerful gear, or alternatively grind up to powerful gear, and then take that into battle, and then play it over and over and over again until we have a feel for the balance. And then we have to test out new item combinations and make sure that those work, and sort of try and, and rinse and repeat, uh, and then adjust parameters like how much faster does a mob move? Do we start resurrecting mobs who die as a way to increase challenge? Howling Peaks is our upcoming uh, new paid DLC for Minecraft Dungeons. It's set in a mountain environment with three new missions, all focused around stormy winds and, and the mechanics that surround that. And we're also introducing new gear, new artifacts, new mobs, new puzzles, new ways of playing the game. Whenever we start working on a new area for Minecraft Dungeons, we look at what areas and environments uh, from the base Minecraft game could be interesting to pull into the game. And the mountain biome with sort of big tall peaks, some barren landscapes, howling winds, all of that makes for an interesting setting that we think uh, is a fun addition to the game. Now that the hero pass has sort of completed its journey, we want to continue to tell the story about the Arch Illager, the Orb of Dominance. We're nowhere near done. There's plenty of adventures left. With the season pass, we're actually now offering you four DLCs. The Howling Peaks, and then three more big, exciting things. With Howling Peaks, we're introducing a number of new enemies that you can encounter. One of them is called the Wind Caller, and it summons powerful gusts of wind under your feet and throwing you up into the air, dealing heavy damage. We're also introducing Ravagers, which is an enemy some of you might be familiar with from the Village and Pillage update in Minecraft. It's a big beast of an enemy that charges you on sight and deals massive damage. The Squall Golem is an interesting new enemy that we're introducing with Howling Peaks. Uh, it sits inactive until you activate it by uh, directing wind at a nearby resonance crystal, at which point the Squall Golem wakes up and starts charging you. And I think it makes for a very fun fight and also gives a lot of agency to the player fighting them. In the mountains, there are also new animals that you can spot. You'll see the woolly cow, uh, an interesting variant of a cow first seen in Minecraft Earth. The mountain goats can be found um, on the side of mountain cliffs, and they're benign if you don't disturb them, but if you attack them, they'll charge back at you. One of the new pieces of armor that you can find in the DLC is called climbing gear, and it makes you resistant to wind and to push back. And though I won't tell you all the details, uh, one of my favorite pieces of new armor is the unique version of that called the mountain goat armor. The uh, competition for which mob is the cutest in the game has definitely gotten closer. Um, Key Golem is everyone's favorite answer, but uh, I think it has some good competition from the Mountain Goat in the Howling Peaks DLC. You can literally stream games from your Xbox onto your Android phone or tablet. And you can play games wherever you are. It's actually just what it sounds like. It's streamed from the cloud. So to access this rich library of Xbox games, 
uh, you subscribe to the service called Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. That gives you access to this library of games on PC and on Xbox and lets you stream it to, to your Android device. So you don't need a special controller to play Dungeons. We have adapted the game interface to work with uh, touch input. We do also support the uh, Xbox One controller and the DualShock controller, but uh, it's optional. You can still play just with touch. We at Mojang take pride in working with the best people in the industry. And we're fortunate to have a close partnership with the development studio Double Eleven in the UK. Double Eleven are creating the majority of Dungeons DLCs, including Jungle Awakens, Creeping Winter and Howling Peaks. We're happy to see our shared vision of fun quality content become reality 